What's going on YouTube? It's uh, Nate to wait and you're here with Crossbeats Production and this is another tutorial. So I want to quickly show you guys, I guess one of my workflows that I, I tend to use when I use Machine and Studio One together. Um, there's, there's kind of a couple of ways of doing this and this is the way that I prefer to do it just in, in the hindsight of, you know, speeding up processes and stuff like that. Um, but basically, to to um to give you an example of what I'm referring to right now, it's just basically showing you how I would normally create my drums if I was going to use Machine as part of a plugin inside of Studio One Three. Um, so bearing in mind, this is this is a plugin in Studio One. So you know how you just normally go to your Browse function, you grab a plugin, you put it onto your um your plugins there, and it brings it up. And um, within Studio One, you can obviously use uh, VSTs or any type of VST in Studio One or any other door for that matter, but um, the machine works quite well in conjunction with with Studio One, and and I, I tend to use it this way for most of the time that I produce my drums. So the way that I do it is I just get um, this machine obviously to open up, go to the the uh, kit that I'm doing the working project, obviously open it up from there, and here it comes like this. Or otherwise, if you're creating from scratch, then you create your drums and you just do it in loops. It's kind of like I guess using a drum machine inside of um, inside of your DAW. You know, you can do other things. You can set up a, a, um, a audio file. Sorry, if you get your loops, I mean, and just get one of those and drop it into sample one use it that way that's perfectly well uh, okay a way of doing it as well um, but this is just the way that I do it so I want to show you how how I quickly get my my drums once I've created my drum pattern and stuff like that how I get it to look like this into machine and what I would normally do so the way that I did this so say for example I've got my kick you've got the kick pattern this is all soloed being the 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 um, the drums Okay, so that's the drums that I've got there. Uh, as you can see, that they're um, all highlighted there. Um, so pretty much the way that I got it to look like this to come into machine and line up correctly was that I created the kit inside of like the plugin, like I showed you here already. I then got this function inside of machine. If you click on this little arrow button down here, click on file, then you go down to export and it'll bring up a page like this so it shows you all of the things that you've got going on within machine that you've worked on so you know all the patterns that I've created are in this list here and then it brings like a little drop down menu here as well and you can highlight like by clicking on these little things here you can highlight what you want and what you don't want and then you can export it um, the main key function I guess to making sure that it exports in a full length that um, it was as you can see here so that's full length of audio here the way that you do that is uh, getting it off the loop function. So pretty much if you hit the export, it's got this function here, which is normally selected as loop. Now that would be your four bar or eight bar loop, whatever your loop is in machine. Change it to all, and then you'd have your sound outputs as sound outputs of the actual um, the kit that you're on. You could, if you had processing that you had further in the chain, so say for example, you've got group processing, you could do it on the group uh, as a group setting there or you can just do as as it is on each one like that so once you export it uh, just choose a folder that you want to export it to so I've just put a drums folder into my heap folder which is the, the, the name of the song there and then from there um, I just named it drums and heat and then hit export it's as simple as that it bounces it as a wave file just so you can choose your options there by the way the wave or a i double f uh, function is there and you can change the the uh, the rating as well of sample rate and also 24 uh, 16 or 32 bit float uh, but this project's 48 hertz and it's um in 24 bit as well so anyway yeah so that gives you the options there you hit export and then it drops it out all in um, the full length of the the song itself and then you can end up with this and it makes it so simple to create kits in line with Studio One and then drop them into Studio One and start working on it from there. That's the key, I guess, to this video. That's something I just wanted to show you as a tip. And uh, I will bring a mixing video on this particular song as well. I'm just working on getting it into Studio One at the moment. So I thought I'd show you guys how this works and um, take you through it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit, give it a thumbs up and like the video, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and uh, peace!